Hello, Lieutenant Kayla Detmer here from Star Trek Discovery, here to ask you to join in with Commodore Ty to discover the world of pop culture. The adventure has begun. <laughs> Incoming message from Commodore Ty. Hello, this is your Commodore Ty Coles here. Your commanding officer to all that is pop culture, especially the nerdy stuff. And if you like what you see, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and smash that thumbs up like button. Let's get into WandaVision. So it's episode 9, the series finale. It was decent, and we got some interesting stuff happen in the episode. But if you guys don't want to hear it, I suggest skip to the end of the video, because you're going to hear a lot of spoilers. So, you've been warned, this is a spoiler alert. We continue right where we left off the last episode, like to the second we left off in the last episode. And... Agatha wants to take Wanda's chaos power, like absorb it into her own. She finally lets her kids out and they start their battle. I take power from the undeserving. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> so they have their little bit of a tiff. Wanda picks up a car and flings it right at her through a house and she's wondering where the hell she could have gone then all of a sudden we see the white vision appear Is it really? she lets her guard down and he puts his hands on her head and he crushes it Just then, the actual vision finally shows up. Where are the boys? As this is all happening, we see Monica is in the custody of Fit Pietro, and he prevents her from escaping. So they battle to the town center. Power exceeds that of the Sorcerer Supreme. Destiny to destroy the world. I, Agatha releases the residents of Westview from Wanda's mind control and they are pissed at Wanda and they demand she let them go. We feel at peace. We feel your pain. Your grief is poisoning us. No, stop. Please, let us go. But instead, she is so overwhelmed with grief, she starts choking every single one of them. She didn't realize what she was doing. She lets them go, of course, but the one that was playing Mrs. Hart in the first episode says, If you won't let us go, just let us die. I, I will let you go. I will. And that's a powerful moment where Wanda's like, I fucked up. And so she overwhelmed. She starts to open the barrier up. But she's causing Vision and her kids to start disintegrating in front of her. Save Westview or save your family. So it's either let go of what you've done here or keep your family. She keeps her family. It looks like Agent Wu is getting in trouble, but then he steals their phone and contacts someone. 
contact someone named Cliff. Cliff, uh, James Wu. Hey, I've got a situation and I was hoping you could get here inside the hour. So the visions start going to fight in the library. Uh, Wanda goes after Agatha, leaving her kids to take on Sword. Monica comes out because she got out of the control of Pietro, and we found out he was Ralph. Feisty. Well, that moment was just... Agatha not knowing where Wanda went, Wanda transfers her back to her trial back in Salem. But it backfires on her. She escapes and they go back to present day. While that's happening, the visions are facing each other off, and the vision we know released White Vision and brought back the memory. So essentially, Vision is back in the MCU. Wanda tricks Agatha and starts giving her all her powers, but not realizing she used her own damn trick against her and created protection spells. Roots in a given space. Only the witch who cast them can use her magic and absorbed all the power back, and we finally have it. The Scarlet Witch has been released. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the role you chose. The nosy neighbor. So, battle's over. She, she decides to release the hex and go back home. As they're going back home, you see the Hex is starting to move in on itself, reverting everything back to normal. Up until they get back to the house. They put the kids away for the final time. Thanks for choosing me to be your mom. And, they, and she says goodbye to Vision for the final time. This was a very emotional scene, and we started off where it all began. Wanda in an empty shell. But this time, she accepts it. She realizes what's gone. She walks back to the center of town. The people are still ridiculously pissed at her. She knows that, and she leaves. She goes off into the sunset. That's pretty much the episode. Uh, we see Monica's powers fully absorb. It's done. We get two bonus scenes. Director Hayford get rested and put away. And Monica's led into the theater and we see a scroll. You'd like to meet which is a very loose connection to the next Captain Marvel movie, where Monica will probably most likely meet uh, Nick Fury and re get reconnected with Captain Marvel. And already the hate is strong with people. Like, dude, the movie is over a year away, and you're already bashing the movie. 
Let's see what Captain Marvel 2 will bring us first. Then we get a second post credit scene. And my God, how unoriginal has it, was it? We have Wanda in a shed in the wilderness doing her research and stuff, being isolated from everyone. And then all of a sudden you hear her kid say, Mom, cut the black. This is exactly almost perfect copy of the end credit scene from The Incredible Hulk. But hell, I'll show you the last few seconds of this end scene. And now look at the Hulk end scene. So, to say I'm disappointed, again, is an understatement. Like, it was a decent episode. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. But it could have been so much better. They even came up with a goddamn press release saying that people that follow these fan theories would be disappointed. But every single fan theory was wrong. We, we didn't even get a Doctor Strange cameo. And this was supposed to lead right into Doctor Strange. Like... We got nothing. We got no Mephesto, no Nightmare, no Doctor Strange, no nothing. Even a Captain Marvel cameo would have gave us something, or a Nick Fury cameo, something, anything to grasp onto. Because they said this was going to lead into those movies, and at most we got some very thin threads to them. Like, I felt like I didn't need to see this to know what's going to happen with the next Doctor Strange movie. Oh, I might have some backstory that we might see Agatha again, or the kids might reappear, or White Vision might have reappear. Like, we got no rips in the multiverse, no nothing to indicate something's wrong with the multiverse. And it just was like, Marvel gave us the biggest case of blue balls pop. Uh, well, I am done. There was so much they could have done, and they didn't. But on the other hand, I did enjoy what I did watch, and it's a great standalone series for Marvel. But from what all the hype they gave us, all the clues, all everything that happened up until this point was leading to something bigger than what we got. And that's how I feel like many fans are going to feel. So that's it for WandaVision. In a couple of weeks, we will get the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So until then, this is your Commodore, Ty Coles, live long and prosper, hailing frequencies closed. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, watch one of my many other videos, and if you like what you see, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal. So for Commodore Ty, live long and prosper all, and for now, until next time, the hail and frequencies are closed.